Hey guys, so welcome to another Triton Tales. Uh, let me know if this camera angle works okay. I just got a new mount for my phone and uh, it normally would work with the air vents of my car. However, um, they sit a little bit low. I did try a little strip, a little clip in portrait mode. Uh, but then I remembered, I'm like, hang on, that's supposed to be landscape. Uh, so I'll insert that clip in a minute. And you'll see what I mean. It wasn't quite the right angle and it definitely wouldn't have looked right in portrait mode. But I'll insert it anyway, you'll see what I mean. Uh, so not much else is news. Uh, I haven't found a companion for Cora yet. Um, I know what I want. Um, I'm not really picky on gender or colour. Uh, as long as I find the correct companion for Cora. And of course it's got to um, feel right, I guess, in my gut um, when I meet it. Um, so nothing in the pipeline yet, I'm, I'm just waiting to get the call to say, well, hey, look, we've got some Rumbies in. So yes, it will be another Rumby that far I am set in stone for. So there's nothing new on that one. Uh, I'm just actually heading down to the post office at the moment. They shut pretty early, so I thought I'd squeeze in, um, squeeze in a Triton Tales while I'm driving. So I thought, well, look, I've got a few minutes. I can babble to you guys if you have any questions for me or... Anything else that you'd like to know, just drop them in the comments, either on YouTube, here on, in, here on YouTube, uh, or on any post on my Instagram channel, and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions in a Q&A video. Um, the Ducklings are doing really well. Um, what day are we on today? It's the 30th, I believe, we're on now. And the Ducklings have actually just turned a month old, so they've got a lot of their feathers now. They're still with Zuna. They're a, uh, although body mass, they're not bigger than Zuna yet, but in terms of height, they are predominantly taller than Zuna now. <laughs> so I'll just insert a clip here and you'll see what I mean. They're, they've grown a lot. And to give you a comparison, um, here they are from just a couple of weeks ago. So two weeks old, they've, they were considerably smaller and they hadn't really got their feathers yet. And to give you a really true idea, I'll just drop the videos in here side by side for you. So you can definitely see they've grown quite a lot. Um, I'm really hoping they're female and I'll definitely know for certain uh, before, most likely before they're seven weeks old. Um, because female ducks tend to get their quack quite young and male ducks, they tend to take on a bit more of a raspy sort of quack. Um, it's, it's very quiet and it's not really a quack. Uh, so yeah, I've just dropped up at the post office so I'll continue this conversation with you in just a few moments. I'll just drop this post off and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back, the post is done. Just being a little local post office, they shut pretty early. Uh, the post leaves at about one, so I just had to get it here before lunch. So that one's done. Let's head back home now. Very in one of the last little update videos I did uh, because of the new fencing and everything that I'm hoping to have put in. Um, everyone's been pretty busy over Christmas and New Year, and of course we had Australia Day last week as well, so it's it's been pretty hectic for everyone. Um, so I've just got to get hold of contract guy and see what I can organize to have that fencing put in. Um, I have been getting back into drawing again. Um, I haven't really spoken much about that. Um, for the most part this channel was created to show people another way of handling horses, particularly the Brumbies, um, which is how it all started, particularly with Jewel. Um, as I did put in another video, it must be about a year ago now. Um, I had actually had horses before I got Jewel and Cora, and so I was in a bit of a, a unique sort of spot where you know you've got a green horse, which was Jewel at the time, and myself being green to horses. But as anyone with horses will will know, you know you you learn very quickly on the go of what works for you and your horses and what I aimed when I started the channel 
was to show people, look, hey, you know, there is more than one way of being right, and just because one train says you can do something this way doesn't mean to say you can't do it another way. You've got to find what works for you and your horses, and that was partially what helped spark Australian Brumby journey as well. And so, while yes, in the scheme of things, I'm still pretty new to the equine world in terms of ownership, but I have been around horses on and off most of my life. I just hadn't been able to implement what I'd learned over the years until I got my own horses and then had to learn all over again from the ground up. Uh, with what Jewel taught me, you know, everything I thought was had this is how you handle horses, this is what we do. It, um, it was very different to what I really expected and Jewel taught me a heck of a lot over the two and a half years that I, that I had her and I'm eternally grateful to her for what she's taught me and preparing me I guess for the next step of my journey without her and a journey where I welcome another Brumby or two and when I've got some more cleared land, the, the raising land for the horses, you know, I'd, I'd love to take on some more from because they're absolutely amazing. I love them. Maybe I'm a bit biased because I had Jewel, but I don't. I don't feel it's a biased opinion. You know, Brumbies they are they're incredibly diverse. You know, and as Jewel proved, and I've seen people on Instagram and YouTube, they've all shown much the same promise. Is under the correct management where you let the horse find its own path under your guidance, of course. They are more than willing to try for you. And I believe that if you really mould them into what you're looking for. Uh, so until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Don't forget to like, comment, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with what's going on in my world.